balls. The kick by Powell comes up towards left half forward flag. Sanderson almost taken high by Broadwick. Nothing from uh, the umpire. Hocking, about whom we were speaking, oh, picks up kick. towards midfield and Kilpatrick. The Oysters man inside the centre square. So the Cats have withstood the early barrage in this term from Richmond. They may be able to notch up a score of their own. McGrath. But the big fellow King. Barnes. Almost a little nudge there. Picked up by Snell. Out of bounds. Should have done better with that. Still the difference, 14 points. Scott Turner to bring it back. So Geelong still to add to their half-time tally. Richmond has added just the two behind. Oh, Gale looks for a push in the back and gets it. So Richardson. Richardson towards midfield. Powell seemed to be retarded a little bit there. The umpire says nothing for it. Bizzle, oh, who has been good. Loose ball comes out towards the boundary line near the interchange gates, mopping up his shoal. A little bit of a balk to get around Powell, who uh, looked a little bit awkward there. Colbert gives it back to Kilpatrick. That's going long. It really goes through for a goal, but rushed over the line by Benny Gale for the first score to Geelong in this third quarter. What about that desperation by Bizzle down on that half back line? a big that game, isn't he? Unbelievable. 15 points is the margin. And the man who stopped the kick takes the kick in. He's had 21 possessions, Bizzle. Gale to Rogers. So he's getting very close to uh, best man on the ground st status at the moment, Bizzle. He has just been fantastic and just showing signs he's going to become a very, very top player. Here's Kilpatrick looking with a hand pass. He bends it back to Daffy. No mark. Danger here because Riccardi's got it. He's dragged when he didn't have it. They latch in onto it. Steinford. And the umpire will come in and bounce. Free kick to hey, Richmond, right. I think, the way the umpire pointed, is it? Against Hargraves, maybe. And it will go down there to Tawney. Now, Tawney's got Callaway loose. Oh, dear, Gary Ayres wouldn't like that. Callaway kicks a little bit up and under, but no, no mark to Plap. On the Knights. Matthew Knight waits, then starts to deliver. Oh, Bizzle again was very desperate. Campbell kicks towards goal. Barnes should force this through. Very slow getting there. Is that out in the fill against Barnes? It is. Campbell calling for it. And it's Darren Gasper on the boundary line. I thought Barnes was just a bit lackadaisical going for that. Play on. Gasper for the banana kick. Oh, he's got oh, That looks good. It's a goal. Brilliant goal to Darren Gasper. Boy, but maybe that will be the goal. It turns the tide. Nine points now in favour of the Cats. Well, an unlikely kick, wasn't it, for a goal? The hardest of the lot. Take us through this one, Pete. Well, it was just a brilliant kick. I think he really wanted to pass it off, Jared. <laughs> but, but he altered the way he held the ball pretty quickly, didn't he? Yeah. But I think John Barnes should have forced that ball through from behind in the first place. Tiger fans find a little bit of voice midway through the third quarter. In fact, we've passed the, uh, the halfway mark of the term and just the one goal scored by the Tigers under these wet and slippery conditions. Sanderson's got it. He's all wrapped up by Daffy. And it will be another ball up. Nine points is the margin. King. I want to go with this. Hocking burrows his way through the mud. Broderick slips over at the crucial moment. Richardson covering plenty of ground in the third quarter from right centre wing. 